We are talking about being under the influence of Jesus. I hope that you have been watching the videos. If not, then let me just kind of bring you up to speed. Uh, our series, Under the Influence, is not about alcohol or about drugs. Um, some of us have been under the influence of those things. <laughs> but we're talking about being under the influence of Jesus. That should describe Christian people. They are people who are under the influence of Christ, of Jesus. Uh, for well over 1,500 years, uh, Christ followers have been developing what they called a rule of life um, to help them um, shape the way they would grow. And today, and this week's message was all about shapes. And I asked the question, what's shaping you? And we looked at, uh, I had a uh, a triangle and a circle and a square. And um, I think about the things that kids play with. They play with those little little um, toys that pull apart, but inside there's a place to hold stuff. And the external part of that little ball has all these shapes, um, squares and circles and diamonds and rectangles. And um, um, what's the other thing called? Um, hexagons. All those things, right? And, then little, and, little, and the kid puts them in. They, they learn their shapes very early. But we really have to learn, if we want to grow um, beyond childhood, beyond just a, an introductory understanding of knowing Jesus, we gotta, we got to grow into understanding what shapes us, what shapes us. Um, so in developing this rule of life, we're saying that it's a matrix. A rule of life is a matrix for spiritual growth and formation, a rule of life is a matrix for spiritual growth. Well, you're saying, well, what's a matrix, Pastor? A matrix is a structure or environment that develops something, that something's developed in. And so we want to create in our own lives, and you have to do this. You have some kind of matrix in your life. Um, you have something in your life that's shaping who you are. It's forming you. So I, I gave a principle, <clears throat> a principle this week. The principle is uh, what you focus on fills you, and what fills you forms you. And I'll say it again. The principle that we looked at this week is, is what you focus on fills you, and what fills you forms you. So if all I do is focus on work, 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 I owe, I owe, so off to work I go, right? If all I focus on is work, then it's going to fill me um, and it's going to form me. I'm going to be someone who's maybe very successful at work. And I've seen that so much. I've seen, I've seen men and women both who were incredibly successful at work and yet other relationships suffered greatly, some to their utter demise because they focused on one thing that they thought was important, but at the expense of what was more important relationships. So what you focus on fills you, what fills you forms you. So what's forming you? What's shaping your life? So we looked at that and I gave three prerequisites, but I just wanted to just kind of, you know, um, hold, hold still today a little bit around the notion of this matrix and this rule of life. And last week I said in the message, and I, and I didn't have in my notes, I had a ruler, and, and rule in Latin is regula, and it means a stick of wood, as is this ruler. It's a stick of wood. Uh, but it came to mean that it had some sort of rhythm to it. So the rhythm of this ruler, these inches, this rhythm of these inches creates an ability to measure something and form something, to build something, to construct something. It's kind of the way it is with the rule of life. It's, it's, a, it's a way of kind of measuring our activity and our involvements um, in spiritual things in such a way that we can say, I'm, as, I'm, as I'm measuring out what I'm doing, these things will begin to shape me and form me. It will be what shapes my life. So I defined a rule of life as, as a tool, um, and we also liken that unto a trellis that gets grapes up off the, gr off the ground so they can flourish, so they can be pruned, so they can um, the vintner can do his best to make them be have the highest yield. Um, a trellis does that. 
It's a tool, a tool that will enable and equip us to deconstruct the things that distract us from Jesus or pull us out from under his influence. Deconstruct those things. You'll see how that ties into the whole message as we continue throughout the week. And then reconstruct the kind of habits and practices that bring us under the influence of Jesus so we can learn to be with him, practice his presence, learn to live and love like Jesus. It's kind of a mouthful, isn't it? I'll say it one last time. A rule of life is a tool, like a trellis, that enables and equips us to deconstruct what pulls us out from under the influence of Jesus and reconstruct through, the, through habits and practices what will bring us under the influence of Jesus so we can practice his presence, learn to be with Jesus, so we can live and love like him. Lord Jesus, as we continue to develop our rule of life, Lord, we first have to understand what it is. It is something that can shape us into the people you want us to be. People that are formed in the image of Jesus for the sake of others. So Lord, we simply ask that you would refresh us today with this idea of being willing to kind of measure what we're doing to see if what we're doing pulls us out from under your influence or measure what we're doing to see if it pulls us under your influence. We love you, Lord. Amen. God bless. I will see you tomorrow.